Hey guys, so today I'm gonna show you around the raised beds and what I have growing for fall. Um, I did a video a couple weeks ago sharing like, you know, starting your fall garden. I was planting all these seeds and stuff. So let me show you what those seeds actually look like and then show you how I am protecting them from cabbage moss and other um, critters that might want to eat them so let's go ahead and get started all right so we're heading outside it rained last night <sighs> here goes the girls good morning girls hi babies hi babies a possum came and visited their coop last night I saw it on the video um, from what I heard possums are not do not like try to kill chickens so I guess that's okay we've also had like a cat come by I think it's the same cat um, he looks a lot like one of my other cats so I think it could have been her like Nola's one of her kids because he looks exactly like her with the white paws and everything and you know we found her in the garden and she you know obviously had lots of kittens before we got to her hi girls they're so beautiful so i want to actually side note i actually kind of want to decorate their um coop area just on the outside um, I've got a couple pumpkins here, but I'm actually thinking about planting, potting up like some mums and just have them around here. I read that mums are safe for chickens to eat if should they, you know, peck at the leaves, which they probably will. Um, so we'll see. Probably do that here in the next uh, few weeks. All right, on to the raised garden beds. So let's head on over and I think because it's so wet over there I don't really want to get dripped on so let's just go around this way. <sighs> Look at that beautiful elephant ear. This is one of the fall pots that I planted up in another video and this elephant ear is just stunning. Definitely going to be keeping this. I don't know if I'm going to break it down to a bulb in store or if I'm going to just pot it up and try to keep it in the house over winter I don't know I mean it's kind of big and I already have that big uh, philodendron solemn that I'm trying that I'm going to bring back in and then I also kind of want to keep that alocasia I don't know it's just it's all about what I can handle mentally over winter because it is tough keeping these kind of plants happy in the winter time but also look it's flowering which i've never had an elephant ear flower outdoors so that's exciting my indoor ones flower um, regularly i wouldn't say they flower often but they flower um, enough okay so here are my raised beds these are beds that I've had for several years. So we've got three small squares. There's nothing fall planted there, but they've got strawberries. There's ginger in the middle, strawberry bed here. Um, here is my nasturtium mountain. It's beautiful. And in this bed I planted, we've got cilantro. Let me get that clover. Come on, buddy. Okay. So we've got cilantro, there is spinach, and Swiss chard, and then these cucumbers that aren't really doing super well. I'm not sure what the problem is, but I'm planting them there. And we're just going to see what happens. Hopefully they, you know, bounce back. Some, they're supposed to be climbing on this trellis, but they're not quite doing that yet. Okay, and then let's check out this last bed over here in the back I've got my variegated lemon and this is strawberry so I had some calendula calend 
Medulla calendula, however you say it. I had that planted here. I just pulled it out. Those plants seed, drop seeds so easily. There are going to be millions coming up. And I think these, let me see. So this is probably um, calendula right here too. Just because it's so prolific and the seeds drop so easily and I didn't get to all of them before they ended up falling everywhere anyways so in this bed I've got like radishes uh, I think there's some daikon radish there's some spinach there are um, kohlrabi I'm trying to remember what else there's a lot of stuff in here I don't think I planted carrots in this bed but definitely we've got the spinach, kohlrabi, daikon radish, and then on this little end cap, um, we've got cilantro planted in here. And then my basil, these are um, the alumina, no, not alumina towers. These are basil towers by Burpee, and um, they're on their, they're at the end. So I need to pull these and dry them. I don't know, they're kind of, not looking so great so maybe I'll just pull them and I don't know if I can give these to the chickens if I can I will or use it in some sort of way for them maybe I can dry it and use it for them somehow but the cilantro is looking pretty good it's pretty small but yeah so let's move along to my covered beds So these two beds I keep covered because they have my most precious, precious foods that I like to eat in here. And actually I am seeing a cabbage moth uh, worm. So let me get that dude out of there. So I've had an issue where cabbage moth kept getting in here. And I fixed that issue. So now I have... a bunch of cabbage moths that I need to... Cabbage moth caterpillars that I need to go give to the chickens. There are a ton in here. Let's just take these two. So I've been coming back regularly to kind of clean up the plants and I'm trying not to let anything go to like any of these guys go to where they are cocooning and turning into actual moths. So let's go give this to the chickens. I know they're gonna love it. Hey girls! You want some caterpillars? Here you go. Here you go. They love it. Yummy! So let's head back over to the beds. The girls got them a really nice little snacky snack. All right, so the problem I've been having with this bed was initially there was a side that kept flapping open and the cabbage moths would get in, they would lay their eggs, and then I would notice like cabbage moths fluttering around in there. So I knew that this issue was coming up and now I'm having to, you know, check on this every few days, looking for big caterpillars to pull out. And anything I see, I just pull it out. So a lot of times, like, you know, they're up at night just wreaking havoc. So usually I come out during the day and just, you know, pull them off, give them to the chickens. I found one right here. Another one. I'm just gonna fling that guy over there though, cause I'm not gonna walk back to the girls at the second. But yeah, so this is all of the cabbage and kale. Um, these are seeds that I got from Park Seed. They're doing really well other than being decimated by the cabbage moth caterpillars, but um, I can't wait to actually be able to well, actually, I could probably start harvesting now. I mean, the leaves are big enough, but I kind of want to let let them rebound from the cabbage moth situation. And I also have beets in here that probably should come out now. Let me see if I can wiggle one of these out. Ooh, he looks good. Let me, he's got some bugs on him. Ooh, that looks pretty good. 
I probably should take all of these out of here. They're kind of, they've been in this bed since probably spring. Oh, looky. Look at this dude. I wonder if that, he's about to turn into a cabbage moth. We should give him to the girls for sure. Let's see. <sighs> it's so hard to garden when everything is eating. Every, like, nature is fighting against you. You know, because it wants to survive too. Here you go, girls. There you go. Who's going to get it? I think, oh, a salmon has it. Yummy, yummy. All right, so let's head back. I'm gonna pull the rest of these beets and then uh, that'll clear up a little bit of space to allow the kale and stuff to grow. So let's pull these up. It's time. I wasn't intending on doing this during the video, but they can come out. Uh, these ones are pretty small. I didn't thin these like I probably should or else they would have been probably much bigger than this, but this is fine. They're just gonna, this is just gonna go into the juicer. There's two, let me grab the rest. <clears throat> oh, looks like there's about four more, hold on. I like this netting, but it's just so flimsy. All right, let's get the rest of these out. Now we've got a nice big space there for the kale to fill in, which will be cool. Because I'm hoping to keep the kale going like through winter. So once, you know, it gets pretty cold out, I'll cover the beds with plastic to keep, kind of keep this going a little longer, as long as possible. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of damage in there from the cabbage moths. I see a, one here. Toss. See if I see anything else. It's easier to get the cabbage, find them when they're much bigger. Well, I don't see anything else right now. <sighs> Lots of poop. Lots of cabbage moth poop. Here goes a little guy on here. Take you out. Where'd you go? Oh, he's down here. Here goes another guy here. Fling. There's a weed. Yeah, so I'll be back in a few days to check on this bed and pull off more cabbage moss. It's just, it's a little upsetting because, you know, I want to be able to harvest and eat the food that I'm growing, but something else is trying to eat it before I can. All right, so let's tuck this back in. So nothing is sticking out because I have seen the cabbage moths trying to get into this bed. They know exactly where this stuff is and they want it okay so let's check on this bed I'm gonna take the screening up to well I think I'll just open this like this there we go okay so this bed has not had the same well I'm lying cuz look cabbage moths must have gotten here finding them right here bunch of them all right, let me, let me pick these guys off and feed them to the chickens because there is a significant amount here. Wow. <sighs> the joys of gardening. Let me see if there's anything else. There's some down here, and some here, some back there. Oh gosh, I need to check this bed more. There's so many. Look at this. And 
another here's a whole different caterpillar right here all right let's just dump all these guys into the chickens the chickens are getting them a nice little snack today Ooh, almost fell hey girls you want some more And as quick as they come, the girls are tearing them up. All right, let's go look for some more cabbage moths. So I guess I, I assume this bed was, didn't have any issues, but I guess it does. So now I need to go on the hunt. Here's one, another one. Let's see, and the rain is really making them visible because they're sitting on the top of the foliage, which is not usual when I'm coming in here to hunt them, at least from the other bed. Goes one here. Got all their poops on my hands. Good thing they only are eating organic kale. <laughs> oh gosh, look at that end. Just chewed up. Some big boys. Gosh, these dudes are big in here. Might have to spray. I've been trying to not spray my beds, but I might have to do that if, you know, they're just gonna be in here regardless of the cover. All right, let me give these to the girls. I'm a little bit sad right now. And it's starting to rain. <sighs> okay, let's go back to the bed. And then, it's starting to rain now, so I'm gonna have to wrap this video up here pretty soon starting to sprinkle we'll wrap it up here in a second I had a really big one over here that I dropped and I can't find it but um, yeah so I had to run back in the house because it started raining a little bit too hard um, I actually have raindrops on the camera let me clean that Not, mm, a little bit better so I knew the one bed had a cabbage moth um, issue but I did, what, didn't realize that the second bed also had an issue so that was a surprise when I opened that up because I assumed it was okay so I, I have not opened that bed in a really, really long time. Probably since planting, I haven't opened that bed. So something got in there somehow and yeah. So now I have cabbage moth issue in that bed as well. Um, that bed is covered with screen like you would put in a screened in porch like how we have here. Yeah. I mean, the fight continues. The fight for food against the natural elements. I think I'm just going to end the video here. And I, I don't want to spray. I want to do everything in my... I'm going to do everything to not spray. Um, if I get just to my end with it, then I'll spray. I do have a BT spray. Uh, let me show you. <clears throat> is it BT? It's something. <sighs> what is it? Here, yeah, it's BT. <laughs> Dropped it. Mm. So 
so I have this. And if should I get to my breaking point, I will go ahead and spray that in there. Um, but I don't want to. I don't want to. I would like to have a garden that is not sprayed with anything. But yeah. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!